The cemetery. Behind its discreet neighbourhood walls appears was one of the strange and last shelters of dreams and illusions, of that which is different and unknown, of that which is extraordinary and magic. Really of your own will and leave some of the happiness you bring. Count Dracula? I am Dracula. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm in Mount Jerome Cemetery here in Dublin. It's a beautiful sunny day today. So we're here to find the final resting place of Charlotte Stoker. And you might ask who Charlotte Stoker is. Well Charlotte Stoker is the mother of the famous author Bram Stoker who created Dracula. So I'll take you around and tell you a little bit about the Stoker family and we'll go and visit the final resting place of Charlotte. So guys back in the day suicide graveyards in Ireland or they were known as suicide plots were graveyards in Ireland where people who had committed suicide were buried. They were also used for the burial of highwaymen and robbers. This is where the traditional Irish idea of the vampire comes from, as these people were believed to be unable to pass to the other side and would roam the earth as vampires, creatures of the dead. Unless a wooden stake sharpened at one end was driven through the corpse's heart, this was the practice and Bram Stoker's mother, Charlotte, would tell him stories about the suicide graveyards in Ireland during his mysteries illness as a boy. As a young man, Bram would visit one such suicide plot in Ballybock, just five minutes walk from where Bram Stoker was born in 15 the Crescent Clontarf in Dublin. As a young man, Bram used to visit the suicide graveyard and was influenced by these stories when he wrote Dracula. So I'll tell you a little bit about Bram's mother, Charlotte. So Charlotte was born in 1818 in Ballyshannon, County Donegal, Ireland. Her father was Thomas Thornley, who was a captain in the 43rd Light Infantry of the British Army. Thornley later joined the Royal Irish Constabulary. Thornley's family came from England and moved to Ballyshannon in the 1780s. Stoker's mother was Matilda Blake. The Blake family had a long history in Galway with Richard Blake being Sheriff of Connacht from 1305 and others being mayors of Galway. So I'm here in Mount Jerome today and there's a funeral going on at the moment so I'm trying to be as discreet and respectful as I can. So Charlotte married in 1844. She met her husband to be Abraham in Coleraine County, London Derry while he was on holiday from his job at Dublin Castle. He was about 20 years older than Charlotte. His ancestors had come to Ireland with William of Orange and had made living by farming land they owned themselves. Once married, they moved to the Harcourt Street in Dublin before moving to the Crescent in Clontarf. They had seven children, Thornley, Matilda, Abraham, Bram Stoker, Tom, Richard, Margaret and finally George was born in 1855. Bram was not a healthy child and had to stay in bed until he was seven years old. While Charlotte taught all of the children at home, Bram needed additional attention. Eventually all Stoker's sons were to be taught at Trinity College in Dublin. 
Charlotte's husband Abraham retired in 1865 at the age of 65 years old. He had borrowed money to send his sons to Trinity College, Dublin. They moved to France with Matilda and Margaret in the 1870s because costs there were lower than Dublin. They left their sons in Ireland. All had done well. Thorny, Richard and George were in medicine. Bram at college in Dublin with Tom only still at Trinity College. Abraham died in Italy on the 12th of October 1876 and was buried in Tirana. Charlotte returned to Dublin after her husband died. Bram was by this time in London and asked her to write to him about her memories of the cholera in Sligo in 1832. Her reply letter is both a useful story of that event and was used by Bram as a start for his stories and his famous book about Dracula. Charlotte died in 1901 and is buried here at Mount Jerome Cemetery in Harold's Cross in Dublin. She was 83 years old. So there you go guys, that's a bit of a story about Charlotte Stoker, the mother of the famous Bram Stoker and how Bram came about with the ideas to come up with stories about Dracula and stuff back in the day in Dublin. So I'm going to go over now and show you the final resting place of Charlotte Stoker and the Stoker family grave. Now it took me a while to try and find the grave. I did look and find the grave. Um, it's a very, very big cemetery here in Mount Jerome. But um, I believe it's over this direction where I'm going at the moment. There's a, a white angel statue there and uh, I had to match up a couple of photos. But I think I've found the grave down here, so I'll take you over now and we'll see the final resting place of Charlotte Stoker. So guys, this is what I was working off here. Just that monument there you can see with the four pillars is actually on find the grave in the photo. And Charlotte's grave is directly opposite that, so I was trying to match it up. So thankfully I found Charlotte's final resting place here in this beautiful cemetery. So Charlotte's grave is just up here and we'll go and we'll read the inscription on the headstone. So this is the final resting place here guys of Charlotte Stoker, Abraham Stoker's mother. So we'll read the inscription and it's a beautiful headstone. So just on it there, it says in memory of Abraham Stoker, which would be Bram Stoker's father, who died in Italy, October the 12th, 1876, aged 77 years old and lies in Cava de Tarini. And Charlotte M.B. Stoker, his wife, who died in Dublin, on March the 15th, 1901, in her 83rd year, and is buried here. Here also lies Emily, the most beloved wife of Sir William Thornley Stoker, who died the 10th of November, 1910, aged 67 years old, and the above Sir William Thornley Stoker, who died the 1st of June, 1912, aged 67 years old. Bram Stoker is buried in Golders Green in crematorium in London, I believe, and his uh, ashes are interred there. So there's the story, guys, and the final resting place here of Charlotte Stoker, Bram Stoker's mum, and I'm sure he got a lot of inspiration from his mother as a young boy and all those stories of the suicide plot in the old graveyards here in Dublin where Bram would have got his ideas to come up with that wonderful story of 
Dracula. And uh, the Stoker family actually grew up here in Dublin and Bram lived here when he was younger. Um, so there's a lot of history here in Dublin. And really, when you hear about Dracula, all the movies and stuff you see, this is where it all started, guys, here. And uh, what a great story. So for me here, I'll say rest in peace to the Stoker family and Charlotte Stoker. And thank you for all you've done. Okay guys, so I'll wrap the video up there. It's uh, extremely busy here today. There's a funeral going on and I was trying to, you know, kind of avoid people. I don't want to be getting in people's way when there's a funeral and all on. Um, so for me here in Mount Jerome Cemetery, and uh, what a great story about Bram Stoker and his mother's final resting place here in Dublin. So if you like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all on my next adventure.